Hey, this is YBR with the early access version of X module. And we are just going to go ahead and hop into this game completely blind. So right here, we're doing a quick race. We got to choose our module, which I guess is our car. So we have that one, that one, that one, and that's it. So we got three choices there. And the red one is a straight up upgrade over that one. So I have no reason to use the other one. And the yellow one is almost a straight up upgrade. So we'll use this one because it's probably the fastest. And we could change the bumper on it. Different shapes we could choose from. That one looks funny. You know me, I'm just going to go with the one I think looks funniest. So there we go. There's our front bumper. And we could choose the spoiler. Let's we'll see what choices we got here. All pretty similar. We're going to get the biggest one because we need lots of downforce. That one looks like it's the biggest. We could change the color too. So we could change just the interior and the exterior. No, like, per part coloring here. We could go blue exterior and then black, in no, white interior. And then it also gives you some white details there. All right. Well, so we got wheels. We could change the wheels. So what color do we want? That's not color. That's shape. Okay. Let's go with those ones. Those ones look pretty practical. And then we choose the tire color, which is the shape of the tire again. I want something that's like slick. So we'll go with that. Sure. Top. Yes or no, basically, right? Oh, there's actually different shapes there. They're just very minor differences. Okay, there's two different shapes that have an open or closed top. And then we have the open top. I want the open top for my race car. Then well, how many back ends do we got? We got a few there. I think the last one matches the front the most, so we'll go with that one. And there's my amazing module. We got to choose our character. The blade. What head can we have? We can have a gas mask, glasses, and a hat. Which choice do I want? Let's go with the glasses and hat. Like, I'm a super casual racing guy. Get red glasses. Yeah, that's awful looking. I'm, I'm really bad at choosing color schemes for my clothes. You can't allow me to dress myself, man. This is weird looking clothing colors. But I'm going to use those colors. We're totally sticking with it. And then we got to choose a track. Okay. How many tracks we got? Three tracks. We'll just do this one because it's the first one in the list. So next, number of laps. Sure, two. Automatic transmission, race. And the list of controls is gone, and I barely got to even read them. I think I know at least the important ones, which is accelerate, steer left, steer right, and brake, and maybe boost? I might have noticed what key that was. I don't know. We'll figure this out as we race, which means I don't know if I'll have a chance to actually come in first. Oh, I'm leading. I'm in first. You guys suck. So there we go. That's how you accelerate. You just use the arrow keys. Nice and simple there. And so this is like one of those futuristic racing games where you're on a crazy track that takes place in the sky basically not on the ground or anything like that and uh, okay there's a doorway that just opened up right there it made me a little worried i'm like what am i supposed to do there and then pop opens the door we're fine and it looks like just bouncing off the walls it does not slow you down that much so who needs brakes when you can just use the walls to go as fast as possible and right there we lost a little bit of speed but i think we would have lost more if we tried to actually stay on the track so we're in first place and we just gotta hold this for one more lap i have no idea how far behind everybody else is I mean, there's only three racers. Okay, the other guy is apparently ahead of me for a second. I didn't even see him, but I saw the placement change, so that's a little worrisome. That's great. Yeah, just spin out, man. So that's why you don't bounce off the walls. There's the boost. I told you I knew what button it was, although it, it slowed me down. I am almost certain boost just slowed me down. Ha! By the way, I'm racing with the keyboard, which is why I keep bouncing off the walls in the first place. There's a little bit of actual functional boost. And game over. So, yeah, that's great. I mean, I, I lost. All right, fine. Back to the main menu then. We'll try the next racetrack, and that time I won't crash. We'll try a different car too, because I blame the car. It's the car's fault I lost. We're going to do the uh, spider truck. What bumpers we got in this. Just two choices. We'll go with that one. Wheels. I don't really care too much. Those ones look all right. Could change the little bit on the top. Okay, we'll do one that looks a little bit fancier. Okay, perfect. Let's go race at the next track. See, luckily, it's a perfect number of tracks to cars, so it makes it really easy to show off all the cars and all the tracks. All right, so this one at least looks like it takes place in a different location, so this one's kind of like in the middle of a desert or something like that, where the other one was in the middle of a floating bridge road thing in the middle of a city. So let's see if this car can do any better than the last one, although I really don't think it's the car's fault I lost. 
I more blame the fact that I'm using the keyboard to control and I'm really, really bad at that, but controllers just didn't seem to want to work properly when I tried that a minute ago, so I'm stuck using the keyboard! Okay, that's awesome. I'm already up on the wall. And now I'm in second place. At least the guy I hit is still behind me. I think he hit me. It's not my fault. That dude's fault. He caused all the issues. Yeah, drifting! That's so useful! I probably would have been faster if I didn't try to drift. Like, if you just touch the brake or the e-brake, it seems like it kind of initiates a drift here. So that might just be the way to go around corners. Oh, great. We're upside down. Try to ride the wall. Ride that wall. All right, up on the wall. Go, go, go! Secret strategy. Right up on the wall and pass everybody. You know, if it worked that well there, we're going to try it again right here. Just up on the wall. And then accelerate. Come on. Land and then spin. Yes, they spun out too. I think I caused them to spin out. That was all me taking my first place. And if it was a one lap race, I would have won. But it's a two lap race because I chose that like a dummy. So there's my chance to lose. And I'm crashing into walls. All right, we're going to make it through here. I'm going to do this legit. Come on, go left. I mean, go right. Go right. This thing does not steer in very well. Like, it seems like you got to drift it. So maybe just a little bit right here. Oh, I just noticed when you drift, that actually fills your boost. Okay. So if you need more boost, you just got to drift. So since we got all this boost, we might as well make use of it and go as fast as possible. Then we got to ride both of these walls. And we're basically home free on this one. I might actually win. Riding that wall perfectly. Tons of speed. 250 miles per hour. One more wall to ride. No. What? I'm up. Uh, I'm okay. Let's get back to the track then. Can I go through this? Nope. How did I get out of there then? Can I go over here? And I'm not on the track. And I just saw somebody pass me. And apparently two people passed me because I was in third place and not in first place. Well, we're going to win the last race. We lost two of them already. We are going to win this last one no matter what. All right. On to the last car and track then maybe this time we won't come in dead last so the last car is this one and then we'll go ahead and change up uh the front bumper here we actually got more parts we could change here than the other ones that last one looks kind of funny so we'll go with that one we could change the side even on this one so what do we got for sides we gotta have lightweight because this is a race car so we'll just go with that one there and we should change the top up total convertible and we got the rear bumper there what do we got for that one that's more than the rear bumper I want everybody to be able to see my engine, so we'll go with that one. And then we got... Oh, we can actually change the engine looks. And it actually changes the sound, too. That's pretty neat. That one sounds much, most futuristic, so we'll go with that one. And you can put decals on it. I don't know where the decals are actually going, unless I gotta choose a color. Oh, there we go. Now we can actually see the decals. We'll go with... Wait. One of them just... Hmm. There, that one actually changes the color of the headlights, so we'll go with that one. And then spoiler on, even though it hides the engine a little bit. So we'll select that one. And then we're going to go ahead and go to the last track, which was Horizon City. Let's go. Automatic transmission race. All right. So it looks like this one takes place in a city as well, but it's a little bit more colorful than the last one, if I remember correctly. I mean, the kind of shade of purplishness everywhere is definitely more colorful than the other one. And we are going to win. At all costs, we're going to win. And I'm already losing. This is already off to a great start. I really think the fastest way to go around the corners, though, is to just bounce off the walls when you can. Like, it seems like if you can do that, you can go pretty fast. But if you're actually trying to, like, drift around them, it slows you down too much. Or at least it slows me down too much because I lose control. But just bouncing off the wall like that and driving right through the other driver, we were able to get through that corner nice and fast. So in first place, I just got to hold it by pouncing the wall. See, like right there, what did I lose? Like 10 miles per hour maybe? Here we go. 199, 197. That is like virtually no speed lost. Best strategy ever. Bounce off that wall. Only lost 20 miles per hour. Uh, that one I lost some speed though because that one kind of popped me upwards and I slammed into it. Nice jump. I wonder if jump refills boost. I haven't been using my boost this whole race. I do notice though the engine sounds different because I got that fancy futuristic one. Sounds like a jet or something like that, or a turbine. Maybe I should use the boost. Nah, we're gonna save it. I'm gonna save it until I definitely need it at the last stretch, just in case I spin out or something like that. Just make sure we can get to that last stretch perfectly. All right, go, boost. Come on, 
steer harder. Oh, no, no, really? Like, the finish line is just right around this corner, and I spin out. Okay. Watch, here they go. They're going to come and pass me, because that's always what happens. Please. I think the finish is that. First place. I knew I had to win one eventually. It just took three tries with the last car on the last track, and apparently now I'm just going to go along the wall again. Uh, anyways, though, that pretty much covers all this game has at the moment. As I said, it is early access, and uh, there will probably be more stuff in the future. And until next time, then, this has been YBR. I'll see you.